did you walk in 17 years ago with all of this? How much of you, you or were you playing catch up when you? Because I know you've always been passionate right, about let me tell you, John. Let me tell you a quick story, mm -hmm. and this is a fun one because yeah. this is on AO Wells. He'll love this. The first year they brought the old English sheepdog up to the judge, this elegantly gowned woman. And I'm sitting next to my co-host here, and she walks around to the back of the dog. Now, remember, an old English sheepdog is about 80 pounds of hair and two pounds of actual dog. She starts picking through all of the all of the hair on the back, and I said, David, can you explain what she's doing? He says, John, she's putting her hands on the dog <laughs> to make sure that the shoulders and the hips align with the specification of what the perfect old English sheepdog should be. Okay. He says, because you can hide a really bad dog with a really good haircut. And I said, you're telling me I went to junior prom walks around to the front of the dog and she starts picking through all of the hair on the dog's head. I said, David, what is she doing now? He says, John, she's trying to find the eyes to gauge the attentiveness of the dog. And I said, really? I said, well, if she picks through all of that hair and she finds only one eye, she's got the wrong end of the dog. <laughs> Things I have no business doing. <laughs> that made it to air, That was huh? my first year. Oh, no, no, not only did it, it was the, in USA Today, that was the quote of the day in the sports <laughs> column. Yes, yeah, so John O'Hurley, the wrong end of the dog. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. Yeah. But, but I've learned a lot since then. It seems like you've learned a lot. But why, how did you even get, like, why? You're known for, for so many wonderful things and for your work on the stage and film and TV and, and, and now this after 17 years. But how did, how did this happen? Like, how did, you, how, how did your name come up on the uh, short list? Well, the quick, the quick story is I did, I've done a lot of work with NBC Sports. Now, um, John Miller, the head of sports programming, takes home best in show, that wonderful parody that uh, Christopher Guest and Michael Amazing. McKeon did. Absolutely classic film. Takes it home over a weekend back in 2002. Watches it several times over the weekend, laughing as much as he can. Loves the show. Gets the brilliant idea. He walks into the morning uh, meeting on Monday morning at, at uh, NBC Sports and says, I know what we're going to do. In that two-hour slice after the parade and before football where we were showing reruns of It's a Wonderful Life, we're doing a dog show. And they about laughed him out of the office. But that afternoon, he had negotiated with the Kennel Club of Philadelphia to license the show as the national uh, dog show. Purina came on as the presenting sponsor. The following morning, he calls me in Los Angeles. And I answer the phone, and he says, woof, woof. And that's how it all started, honest to goodness.